In this demonstration, we're going to see how we can tune abstract models to match the results from detailed models. Here is our situation. We have an abstract model of a component in our electrical network. When it is stimulated with this control signal, these are the results we get for active and reactive power. When we stimulate the detailed model of this component with the same signal, these are the results that we get. We need the abstract results to match the results from the detailed model so that we can use the abstract model in rapid simulations for system level design. What we're going to do is automatically tune the parameters in the abstract model until the results match. Simulink design optimization can automatically vary these parameters until the results from the abstract model match those from the detailed model. Here are the steps that we'll go through to tune these parameters. First, we'll import measurement data from the detailed model and select the data for the estimation. Next, we'll identify the parameters and their ranges. Then, we will perform the parameter estimation where Simulink Design Optimization will tune these parameters until the results match. I'll now switch over to the model so you can see how this is done. In this model, we have the measured data from the detailed simulation and our abstract model. When we look at this scope, we can compare the results. The yellow line is the data raw from the detailed simulation. You can see because of the power switching, there is a lot of dynamics in that signal. What we would like is that our abstract model produces what we see on this pink line, the filtered result. Currently, our abstract model, when stimulated with the same control signal, produces this blue line, which does not match for active and reactive power. Our abstract model contains a number of parameters that we can tune in order to make these models match. We'll use Simulink Design Optimization to tune them automatically. I'm going to switch to this model where we'll do the tuning. So here when I run the simulation you can compare the filtered data or the reference from our detailed model and the abstract model. And again, here are the parameter values that we can tune to make them match. I'm going to open Simulink Design Optimization and we'll perform the optimization. Here we can see the test data that we have imported. This is the reference data from our detailed simulation. You can see the active and reactive powers plotted here. The next thing that we need to do is to select the parameters that we wish to tune. Here you can see we have selected three parameters from our abstract model that we will tune. Now we can run the estimation. So currently the model is being simulated and after each simulation, Simulink Design Optimization will compare the results between the two, figure out uh, how it should change the variables in order to make them match better, adjust them, and rerun the simulation. So each time the simulation blinks, Simulink Design Optimization is testing a new set of parameters. These simulations are being executed one after another. If we wanted to, we could run these simulations in parallel, and that would accelerate the estimation process. Even if I knew which values I wanted to test, I couldn't test them this quickly because it is automatically updating the values after each run. Simulink Design Optimization also calculates how sensitive the model is to certain parameter values, allowing it to make quicker and more efficient adjustments to the parameters. You can see that after this short period of time, the reactive power is matching more closely and active power is getting there. These parameter values affect these different results in different ways, which makes this a, a, a challenging uh, estimation. In this demonstration, I'm only tuning three parameters, but I could tune a much larger set. It depends on how complex your, your system is and its parameterization. If we look at these plots, we can see how the parameter values have evolved over time, and we can see here just the latest round of how close they match. So at this point, Simulink Design Optimization has gotten as close as it can to the results, and this is much better than our original estimate. So we can continue in our design process using this tuned version. In this demonstration, we have seen how we can use optimization algorithms to tune abstract models.